Welcome to the Croatia Vlogs. For this year's mini European summer series, this is part one of two of my recent week-long trip to Croatia. In this video, we're kicking things off in Split before heading to the island of Korčula. And then in part two, we're picking things up there before heading to Dubrovnik. This was my second time going to Croatia and it just wowed me all over again. And what made this trip extra special is that a lot of you guys decided to book along and travel with me. So let's hop on into the adventures. And if you would like to travel with me later this summer, I'm gonna have my trip to Switzerland linked below and let's kick off this travel day from Los Angeles to Croatia. Croatia. It has been the longest travel day. We had three flights to get here. Pretty sure our total like travel day time, we're looking at like 30 some hours, <laughs> maybe like 35 because one of our layovers was six hours long. It's been a long day. We are finally here into Croatia, kicking this off in the city of Split. It's like 6 p.m. right now. You can see, wasting no time, got the swimsuit on. So our hotel has a pool on the rooftop and we are like so greasy and need to shower, but it's just so hot outside as well. So we thought we might as well just like hop in the pool and enjoy that for a minute and then shower and go to dinner. I think it's just gonna be our first night here. Tomorrow we have a full day boat tour. The day after that, I meet up with those of you guys who booked onto this trip with me. There's a very exciting few days ahead and I'm gonna bring you guys along on this entire trip, not only in Split, but we are going to Korčula as well as to Dubrovnik. And we're gonna head up there and See what's up with that, right, Giselle? Come here. We're in Croatia. All right, pool is a success. We are now heading out to dinner. There's this place I've been doing research on restaurants in split and like all the cities that we're going to and i feel like i found some like really cool places which is just so interesting because i've been getting all of my recs from tiktok which is like what we did all last summer too so i feel like tiktok for us is just like revolutionized like there's no more trip advisor or yelp or whatever in our searches we just like take it to tiktok the place we're going tonight or going to attempt to go is called bocaria it's just in like the main part of split I try to get into this restaurant if not we'll wander somewhere else the outfit of the night is just this little princess polly dress got her first gelato of the trip. How is it? Amazing. Good morning. It is our first full day in Croatia. We are sprinting out the door right now for an all day boating activity. This is the very fast outfit of the day. A little cover up set. My new water shoes that are so comfy. I'll have all my outfits I'm wearing on the strip links below. We're gonna go try to find this boat. <laughs> it's like 
45 a.m. so it's so quiet nobody's out here i'm breaking a sweat because we've been power walking we've been on a journey of where is an atm it's not like a scam atm with a terrible conversion rate but like where's a bank that was the journey this morning so I'm ready for the boat i think it's gonna be cloudy all day which is a bit unfortunate but i think it's gonna be beautiful anyway certainly still be hot so that's the day and here's the liquor store which was the next thing we were looking for Requested secluded places. There's definitely like more popular spots that people go to that like big group tours go to. I know it's like caves and stuff. We just asked for what they would recommend and that we like secluded. So here is where we are. Let's do it. There's so many fish. Oh. All right, well. scared of fish. They need to go away. No. They're still swimming here. There's so many. pulled up to the island of Hovar. This beautiful town, like approaching this island, the views are some of the prettiest in Croatia, I feel like. We're flexible, we're probably gonna spend around an hour here and then head to lunch actually somewhere else. Our boat crew made a reservation, I think on like another island, like some random little small family owned place. So we're gonna go there, but look at these views. to the beach over here. Here's Giselle trying to stay warm. It's so hot outside of the water, but then the second you get in the water, the water is really cold. But you get used to it. So now I feel like it's refreshing. It is refreshing. I'm hijacking my float. <laughs> Donut head. <laughs> That's what she just called me. It's a video. Welcome to day two. Today is the day that our group tour kicks off. I'm so excited. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I don't know why. We've all been in a group chat for a long time. So fortunately, I feel comforted knowing the vibe of everyone, but still just have some pre-trip nerves. Um, most people don't get in until like the later afternoon. And then we meet up with the whole group later tonight for our welcome dinner. But I think those of us that are already in right now are gonna head to the beach. So what I'm wearing today, um, this little blue swimsuit from Amazon. I made it to Kazjuni Beach. It's a little bit overcast today. I think that starting tomorrow it's gonna be sunny every day. So that makes me feel good for everybody who's coming on the trip that we just got the cloudy weather um, and everybody did it. So here is what it looks like. going to meet everybody in the group. I'm so nervous and I don't have time to find my 
um, camera battery, so it's gonna be an iPhone night. Outfit of the night. Let's go. Today we are off on, I'm pretty sure it's an all day trip to the Kirka Waterfalls, Kirka National Park. If you're not familiar, I'll put some photos on screen of what we're about to go experience today. So I did see this last time I was in Croatia as well. It is stunning. I think I visited it just in time last time before they stopped allowing swimming in the waterfalls. So today we just get to like walk through the park, take it all in, take our pictures, and then they're going to take us to swim somewhere else nearby since we can't do it in the waterfall. So um, I got my little one piece on today because I thought this would function as like a good hikey walkie top. Last night the welcome dinner went so well. Everyone on this trip, I feel like I say this every time I travel, but like it just keeps getting better. Like this is just my favorite group of people. Everyone is so sweet. There are still three or four people that um, had some flight delays so they didn't actually get in until after the welcome dinner so I haven't met them yet but we're gonna meet the rest of the people today and I'm just feeling so excited about it. Everybody's been so nice. Like I just feel just so happy that everyone wanted to come on this trip at everywhere that they could have gone. Yeah we're gonna have a really good day. I'm gonna introduce you guys to everybody on the trip potentially today as well if they are comfortable with that. Yeah it's just been a great time. Croatia so lovely like we met our tour guide yesterday her name is Tamara she's Croatian and even just like just every Croatian person we encounter I feel like is just above and beyond like the nicest people like will help you try to give you directions try to like give you recommendations like when they're getting like nothing back in return like I feel like Croatia is just one of like the most hospitable countries so really great place to go very safe Giselle and I also we walked home the other night just by ourselves at like 12 30 it was like a 20 minute walk which I would not ever do in Los Angeles we encountered like two people they were totally normal like it just feels very safe here that was my last reflection on yesterday oh last tip if maybe you're watching this video because you're coming to croatia take ubers and not taxis yesterday we took an uber to the beach it was like nine dollars for like a uber van so like the equivalent of like an xl because there were five of us going and it was ten dollars there and then coming back we took a taxi because we couldn't like call an uber because we had bad service and the taxi was 45 for the exact same journey and i was like just to confirm uber was ten dollars and this is 45 Anyways, it was 45, what can you do? So, just a tip, take Ubers. We have made it to the Kirkham Waterfalls. So as I said, we used to be able to swim, literally just like right over here. Some of the gals in the group. More over there getting their pics. swim stop the walk man I mean that was a hike here are our swimming views <sighs> night 
We're going to the sister restaurant of the Bocaria place we went a couple nights ago. I'm wearing a dress tonight. We're going to their sister restaurant called Boca Mora, which is a pizza and cocktails restaurant. last morning in Split. So today we're about to head out this morning to go to the port here in Split. Um, and then we're heading via ferry to our next stop, which is Korchula, which is an island in Croatia. It has a very cute old town. I'm feeling a little bit anxious about the ferry. If you watched the European summer series last summer, if you didn't and you want more travel vlogs, I will have it linked. But if you might recall the ferry into Mykonos in Greece, I'd done a million ferries before in Greece and like throughout the world and have never had any issue like ever. It's always been a very smooth ride. And then that one time we just happened to catch it with like horrible windy weather, which isn't happening here in Croatia. So I'm telling myself it's gonna be fine, but it was just like a horrible experience of everyone being sick and it being like, like slamming into every wave because it was a high speed ferry. We're just a little bit traumatized. So I'm feeling a little bit anxious this morning. We're gonna hope for the best. I mean, it looks perfectly clear out, but I think it's good that this is a fear we can get over. It's been like a year, so it's just been building. Yeah, we're heading to Korchula. I have some fun plans for the group tonight. I'm finally gonna do group intros and introduce you guys to everybody on the trip. Last night, we just went to the cutest restaurant. That pizza restaurant was so good. If you're in Split, you have got to go there. The pizzas were amazing. We ordered four different kinds. Definitely over-ordered, but got to try some really good ones. We just happened to ask our waitress on the way out if she knew a good cocktail bar in Split, because it's kind of hard just like wandering the streets and like trying to get lucky with something. And also, I've noticed in Croatia, Yelp and all that, like the reviews are just not there. There's no photos. It's like really hard to get a vibe. Um, so we would have never found this place and she recommended recommended a cocktail bar called Strings. So it's kind of like guitar themed that her husband owned. So we went there and the cocktails were like phenomenal. Well, Giselle, you guys know, she's good at everything. She knows her drinks and they were Giselle approved. So we had a wonderful time. Fun stuff coming up tonight. Yeah, I'll finally introduce you to everyone. I thought about it yesterday, but we were all like so sweaty from that like hike walk. I wouldn't want to be put on the spot for the world in my swimsuit. So I just didn't do that then, but we're gonna head downstairs. Don't do me wrong, Jadrolina or whatever. <laughs> this one's our ferry update. Update, ferry's going well. Sounds safe, very smooth. <laughs> very fun beach day. Right now we're going to this cocktail bar that I went to the last time I was in Croatia that my tour guide previously showed me. It's at the top of a tower. You climb up a ladder to get in. So I told everyone not to wear a dress or skirt. And so it's gonna be fun. And then we're gonna figure out our dinner plan from there.
trip intros. So on our trip, we had 18 lovely people. First, we have Chloe here, Sydney from Florida. We have Lacey, Michaela, who was on my group trip last summer. We've got Natasha, some fellow California squad. This was our trip guide, Tamara. She led us around all week and took care of everything so that we didn't have to think about anything. This is Taylor, who is Sydney's sister. We have Alex, Vivian, her friend Jen, Sarah, also LA squad, and her boyfriend Nick, our lone male of the trip. We have Alyssa, she's traveling to Switzerland, so you can come travel with all of us. Morgan and Grace, some fellow North Carolina gals. Then we have Laura, and there are a couple others who did not want to be pictured, but we love them just as much. <laughs> And that brings me to the end of part one of the Croatia vlogs. Coming up in part two, they're having a really fun beach day in Korčula before doing some wine tasting with the most unreal views. Then we're heading to Dubrovnik, exploring the city, finding a cool cave bar, and so much more. So that's gonna be coming up here in a few days. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you would like to travel with me, the link will be below.